Okay, so I got a few more Power Digo tips here. Um, if I click the down arrow, I can do different kinds of searches. Now, full text search where you actually pull out a quote. I believe that's a premium feature that they have now, but I use this tag search a lot. So um, I'm going to search for the tag Twitter, which I actually see over here as well. And this is pulling, I have 112 items in Twitter. Now, it shows all the related tags. So this is kind of like showing me what is there, you know, about Twitter as well. And, but then there's some extra features in here that are really pretty cool. So when I check here, suddenly I see add to list, share to group, and more actions. And I can click here and select every single thing that I have tagged. Twitter. Now I'm going to make a list and I'm going to create a new list and call it Super Twitter Info. And I'm going to make a list. I'm going to click Create and I'm going to put all of these things on a list. So I'm, I can put all of these on that list. And now I have a list. Now one other thing to note, you can also create groups and move stuff around. So if you have one course and you need to move it to another, um, I have different courses every year, so sometimes I need to move between courses. That's how you do share to groups. And then there is also more actions. Now this is what's really cool, and I've done this a lot. If you ever see a post on Cool Cat Teacher where I'll say 90 math resources or 89 literature resources, I usually create it here by doing publish to blog. Now I usually just publish it as a draft post. I don't do a full post and then I edit it and all that sort of thing. Now you researchers will love this. There's a feature called generate report that will let you generate a full report off of this that will give you the full URLs. And this is a great thing to print as e-paper. I do it when I do research or need those full URLs kind of as documentation. And so I'll print a full report and a lot of times I'll pull these into Evernote or some other sort of thing. Um, and it's getting ready to give us this report. It may take us a little bit of a second because I actually had a ton on there. But you can see um, it's got summaries here and it's got the full links, which is pretty, pretty nice. Now this is ready to be copied and pasted on a Google Doc or put all kinds of places, which is pretty cool. And you can edit and do all kinds of things to it. So this is your report feature, which is really amazing. And um, you've also got other things. You can revise the tags. This happens if you see, you know, for example, you are tagging something game-based learning, um, a GBL, and you just want to call it game, or you want to add a new tag, call it game or something. You can revise the tags and add that, which is really neat. But I'm about to go to the list here. So let me go to my list. We're going to go to my library here. And now we can see that I have some lists. And a lot of people don't realize they're really cool things that they can do with lists. Um, you can organize the Twitter list. The one I just created, it should be there. Yep, super, super Twitter info. I have not shared it publicly yet. And I can take it and I can organize it and do all kinds of cool stuff to it. But let me show you um, what I've done in some other places. Um, research 2.0. I'll show you this one because Maggie and I worked on this. So you can see this is a Twitter list and I can add sections and I can even add pieces to this. And I have all kinds of stuff um, here in this and you update it. But the cool thing is, is you can play this as web slides. So you put together your links and you want them to be updated live. Instead of going and grabbing all those screenshots, you play it as web slides. And um, you can even grab a widget and embed it on a wiki or something that has all your stuff. But you can see that, like this is the educators group on Digo. This is actually a live load and it'll go there. It's a little bit slow here today because we have Tornado Watch, but yes, I'm still working. Um, and it should load here in just a second. Um, and you can see all these links that are here. You can click here and I can click and I can go there. Let's see if I can go to another one. This is definitely not Digo. This is definitely my internet connection. Let me pause for a second and let it load. So I figured it out. I'm actually using Screencast-O-Matic because I'm trying to get my Camtasia licensing issue handled. And it won't let Java run on top of Java. But anyway, it plays it as really cool web slides. And you can see all kinds of list tags here. And you can share this. You can print it. You can edit and write on it. Um, you can do all kinds of things with these lists. And they're very, very useful um, on what you want to do. Um, with things. So it's a great way to share resources and keep updated lists. Um, so there are a lot of features in Digo that you can use. Um, I just uh, really love this feature where you check it and you can see all these different things here. So I hope this helps you with PowerDigo. Um, enjoy. 
learn. Um, take a look at all the features in there because there's so many things you can do with your students. It's really my favorite social bookmarking app.